Image editing is a part of photography nowadays, like Darkroom used to be. You might not want to pay for your image editing software. Well, there is a free version called PixLR. It's, it is an online image editing software. And this is a quick look how PixLR works. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And let's get right into the business and start with the disclaimer. PixLR contacted me and wanted to do a sponsored video on my channel about PixLR. So this video is sponsored by them, but they did not see this video beforehand and nor did they tell me what to say. So everything that I say are based on my own opinions, based on using PixLR for a few days or a few weeks actually. And as I said, PixLR is a free software that you use with your browser, your internet browser. The first thing you have to remember that it doesn't work on Safari or at least some of the features did not work for me in Safari. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, using Chrome, for example, it works perfectly. There is also a paid version called Pixel Premium. The free version has ads, but I will talk about the differences later in this video. And this video is based on the free version. There is a link in the description to PixLR website. It's an affiliate link, but you know, it's a free software. So don't worry if, if you go premium, then I might get a small commission. You have two options. You have PixLR E and PixLR X. PixLR X is the so-called basic version and more towards graphic design. And E is the more advanced version and more towards image editing. I'm trying PixLR E on this one because I'm more into image editing than graphic design. Then there is a third option, which is a background remover. And I will make another video about that later in my, and you can find it in my channel later. And there's also a mobile version. And as I said, I'm going to uh, show you how PixLRE works. And if you are interested in seeing more tutorials about PixLR, please let me know in the comments down below. Here you can see the starting scene. Let's first look at these templates that you can start with. It has all kinds of templates of diff for different things. Very easy to start. Some of them are free and some of them have small price. I might get into these in another video. This video is more about image editing. But you can see these templates are quite useful. You can use them in different social media sites and, and all that. I think this is quite good. If, if you're not a really a designer, this might help you to make some, you know, flyers, Instagram stories, Twitter uh, cover, uh, what do you call the cover photos? You can do some YouTube art and everything like that. And I think this this might come in handy in many ways. This is something that I might use this for. But let's talk about that later. Let's continue with the image editing. And you can press here to open the image. It will support Photoshop, PXZ, JPEG and PNG. And I think the PXZ is the project file for uh, PixelR. No raw support, which is of course a pity, but you know, it's an online software. So raw would be a bit too much for the, for the bandwidth and all that. But that would be good if it could handle also raw files, then you wouldn't need any other image shop, image editing software. Let's open a JPEG image. It will ask you to resize the image. You can write the dimensions here also. So let's try that and keep it as it was. The, the working area looks pretty intuitive if you have used image editing software before. On the top, there are all the adjustment tools and looks very familiar. Usually image it needs a bit of contrast, but let's try how the auto adjust looks like on this image. On this image, there's no difference. What about the adjust pop? Okay, here we can see some differences from to the original. I'm personally not a big fan of these auto adjustments and, and very seldom do I use them, but they might be a good starting point and I'm, saying starting point, never trust the auto adjustments. They never good enough, but it's a good starting point. And on this image, I could use the adjust pop, but not really sure if, if I want to do that. Let's continue with this image. This image has a bit too cool a feeling. It's the, the white balance is not the way I like it. It's quite neutral, it, you know, a bit, bit on the cool side. I, I tend to like a bit warmer images. So let's adjust the temperature. Now it looks a lot better when it's a bit warmer. And also the highlights are a bit bright and the overall exposure is quite bright. And the, the, the reason is of course that I usually tend to uh, 
exposed to the right so the image is bright as bright as possible to capture all the data that the sensor can capture and then because it's easy to lower the exposure and highlights in post like i'm doing here with the highlight slider and the exposure slider and all of these can be found from the adjustments and as you can see even though i made this image a bit warmer the uh, tracks and the, the area around the tracks is a bit too cool and uh, i can do a local adjustment with the sponge tool and just to, uh, choose temperature and a strength and paint it over this is quite handy to make it a bit warmer and it looks more pleasing like this this image will benefit from a small vignette. It kind of like guides the viewer's eye to the middle of the photograph so it doesn't wander out because it, it has quite bright edges on this, on this side as you see. But as you see the vignette makes it a bit better. And here you can see only the premium version has some of the tools. And with the premium version you get bigger files, more tools, more assets, more templates and all that. But as you can see the free version can, can get you quite far. But of course, if the ads are annoying, then getting the paid version is not a bad idea. And as I said, there is a link in the description to PixelR, and it is an affiliate link. So if you buy something, I will get a small commission. But it's a win-win situation because you get a great pro software and I do get a small commission. And remember, you don't pay any extra for that. And when you're finished, just save the image and it will download the image from the cloud to your computer and you are able to use it and if you're not finished with it and you press the home button you have the project there and it's in progress so that you can go back to the project if you want or editing the image and I think this is a good way you have everything saved here on your home page all in all I think PixLR is, is quite capable software for image editing especially if you're doing only casual image editing I think registering and using this is not a bad idea. And one thing is good about it is that the tools are quite familiar. And if you are upgrading later to some other software, then you are familiar with the terms and with the tools. They work, you know, very similar tools in Photoshop, for example. So it's easy to, to migrate from, from back and forth. And uh, like I said in the beginning, I might be using this for the with these templates because uh, those are good starting points to do some graphic design, which because I'm not a very good graphic designer, so I might, you know, make my YouTube art with that if I want to upgrade it, and you know, sometimes do some other stuff. Maybe I will have a campaign on my on my one-on-one -on -one sessions, and could make one one ad from here with with, with Pixel R, and it might be a lot better than if I started from scratch. So if you are doing this type of graphic design maybe this is something that you could try if of course if you're not a professional if you're professional you probably use other tools but for casual instagram uh, ads or facebook ads or something like that this this actually could be quite good and if you want to use pixel r please use the link in the description down below and tell me in the comments did you enjoy the video and uh, did you find it interesting and if you did please let me know if you want to see some more pixel r tutorials on my channel and if I have more videos about Pixel R, you can find them from there. If I haven't done them yet, you will find my latest video from there. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.